everybody i hope you're all doing well so now is the time we're going to be unboxing the next kit which is the tree of life i completely forgot what we were doing then we're doing the tree of life which is a classic 17th century jacobean crawl work colors and the design is taken from the larger tree of life design um and when i've been reading the back i'm pleased to see it's because Philippa does let us know what stitches are included and there is no coral stitch this time, which I'm very pleased with. But we have got some new stitches in there as well, the pistol stitch, which I'm excited to see what that is. So this is the kit box, so I thought we could unbox it together and I can show you what it's like inside. This is actually a kit that I actually packed last week as well. So if you get a tree of life in the next week or so, there'll definitely be ones packed by me. <laughs> so... When we open the box, it's all in this tissue paper. I'm just gonna try not to rip the, the tissue paper. So this is what we have inside. So I'm gonna open this up. So these are the wool colours that we're using and the the um, needles and the beads are always inside the walls so you don't have to have a shock of a needle falling out at you and they're always in the little bags. I really like these colours, I'm quite excited to do this because I like how these colours all work together. And then we have got our instruction booklet which I will be reading thoroughly beforehand because Philippa always says read the instructions thoroughly beforehand and even though I do do that I still make mistakes so I'm going to read it from cover to back, front to back first, then I'm going to read every single stitch <laughs> properly again. So that's what we're going to be doing. And then also inside is our stitching chart and this time, wow this is a big stitching chart because We've got it on two two parts. We've got the top part and the bottom lower half of the Tree of Life. So this is definitely going to be the biggest one I've done. I think this might take us a while, but I'm really excited to do it. And Frankie was saying when we were discussing which which kit to do next that with the animals, a lot of you who have already done the kit have changed the dog into your own pet. So what I'm going to be doing is working how to create um our little dog friend at the bottom of the tree of life i'm going to make it into my own little dog arthur who is sat watching me right now um so that's something which we'll be doing as well and then and then there's more so we've got the essential guide to cruel work which comes with every kit where philippa kind of explains everything you need to know the essentials of cruel work as it says on the cover with what the different um needles are so we've got the single thread and the double thread as well as the perfect length of thread which i think i need to read that one again because philip keeps reminding me make sure I'm, I'm doing my threads too long so it's from there to there and i will be mentioning it every single day in every video to remind myself as well um as well as how to do um like threading it and securing the threads and casting on and the frames as well because we used a seated frame and then the final bit is our linen so let's let's see how big the linen is today so this is wow this is a big one i'll put it this way so you can see it so this is what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks which i'm really excited to do it's definitely big and it seems a bit scary at the moment but we're going to do this together and it's not going to be scary it's going to be fun and i'm really excited to try it so yes we'll be starting tomorrow and let's see what stitch we're starting with we are starting with one i like doing the cruel stem stitch we know this one this is one i feel happy doing <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing first so we're going to be starting in the lower left corner. Philip says we're going to be starting in this bit when I've read the instructions. So this is where we're going to be starting with the cruel stem stitch. Um, but before we go on to that, I'm going to watch Philippa's video on how to put this on the hoop. So if you're this is the first kit you're doing, or like me, you need a bit of a reminder on how to get it secure properly with the clean film technique and putting it on the hoop so you get the best results. 
or watch the lookers video now. This is a seat frame, which is a wonderful thing. You can either sit on it, side saddle and stitch away, or put it between your legs, underneath the fattest part of one thigh and swivel it round and stitch like this. This keeps you very centred and keeps your shoulders level. I'm going to show you now how to set it up. First of all, you take the size that you want for your embroidery. There's a 10 inch and 8 inch and a teeny weeny 6 inch, which is fabulous for tension and for doing very tight, small designs. So I've chosen to use the 8 inch hoop and I'll show you how my cling film technique works very well on all embroidery. First of all, you take the roll and measure out a square and then pop it over your work. Now, this will cover any embroidery that you've already done so that when I put the outer frame over the inner frame it won't catch the embroidery. First of all, you put your outer frame down on the table. Then cover that with cling film, or in America it's I think called saran wrap or food wrap, but any plastic will do. And of course, this is a great way of recycling plastic you don't want anymore. Now I want to stitch this particular leaf. So I'll put the point of that leaf away from me and that will go just inside the perimeter of the frame. Okay. Now I need to check that I'm revealing the leaf that I want to stitch. So if I can find that again, that is this one here, and I'm just going to rotate it round so that the tip of the leaf points away from the screw on the outer frame. So now I'm just going to pop that down and sometimes you might need to loosen the outer frame slightly and then you pop the inner frame inside it and just push this down firmly. Now, if you have weak wrists or you find that this is a problem, you need to just take the paddle and just push this down like so. And that's much, much easier than using your hands because basically your hands are your most precious tool. Then you turn your frame the right way up, pop it in the seat frame, and there we go. I'm ready to take my embroidery scissors, cut out the area I want to stitch, and here we go. I will get started tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow.